Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my minimalist makeup collection. This is an updated collection um, compared to my last video that's up here. This is actually my minimalist um, jewelry collection, which I will also link in the cards. This is a pencil box, and I have stored my makeup in pencil boxes before, but then I outgrew my pencil box and then I passed it on, so this is a newer one. Um, okay, so this is the stuff that I use every single day on this side. This is some extra lip products and some things I don't use all the time. This is not marketed as a foundation stick, but this Wet n Wild makeup stick concealer is so beautiful as a stick foundation in the shade 808. I brought my trusty foundation from CoverGirl, this old package, and um, this color really matches very well. So I'm using this now because it is cruelty free. And if I top it with this Ulta Double Duty Wet and Dry Pressed Powder Foundation in medium, it provides a really flawless, beautiful finish, like you're not even wearing makeup. So I love that. I apply both of those with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It's fabulous. Um, okay, this is the Instain Blush in Argyle from The Balm, and it's a beautiful bright pink color. I may need to tone it down soon. I, I barely dip my e.l.f. blush brush in here in order to get plenty of color. So, we'll, oop, I may have outgrown this shade, but we'll see. And then I apply this e.l.f. Um, highlighter in Moonlight Pearl with this Real Techniques setting brush and it goes on really well. This is not like an in-your-face type of highlight. It's just very natural and I like to look like I'm not wearing a ton of makeup so that's a great thing for me. On my lids I use this e.l.f. eyeshadow primer and usually I've been using this Physicians Formula um, Matte Collection Quad Eyeshadow in Classic Nudes and I usually use this shade, whoop, this shade here with my Wet n Wild crease brush. So it's such a beautiful color. I just, I love it. I love it so much. Um, and then when I'm not using that, if I want a little bit of shimmer, this is an old um, eyeshadow that I haven't decluttered because I still have a lot of product and it's my absolute favorite. This is the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow in Amber Rush. and It's just so beautiful. So beautiful. For eyeliner, I use this Essence Gel Pencil in Cocoa Bean. For eyebrows, I use this Flower Beauty Eyebrow Pencil in Blonde. This one is just about gone and it has a spoolie brush on the end. And then for mascara, this is the Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara, and here's the brush in case you're interested. It's a huge chunky brush with little spikes on the end, and it just puts the mascara on really fast with one coat, and I love it. It's a great mascara. For lip products, my favorite, this is the best kept secret in women's lips, <laughs> the Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker is amazing. It's got just a beautiful um, little wash of color, keeps your lips hydrated, and I like it a lot. I don't use this very often, but if I have a breakout, I am using up this Alme Color, oh, Clear Complexion Concealer in Light. But I don't think either of these are cruelty free, but they're older and I'm just using them up. Um, this is just a set of baby nail scissors or nail clippers and I've got a tiny set of tweezers and then in here I have real her I am awesome lip gloss and it's I don't know what shade maybe it's I am awesome I don't know but I I really love this product it's just beautiful 
Um, I don't have the shade on this one either, but this is Essence Liquid Lipstick. It's kind of a coral type shade. This is Makeup Revolution in Looking Ahead. This is Wet n Wild um, Pout and Love, like, let's see, what is it? A gel lip balm in the shade Love. And it is just lovely. I really like it. And my very favorite, this is the Essence Long Lasting Lipstick in the number six. Fabulous. Now on to nails. I forgot to mention this little miniature Z palette. It has, it's double stacked right now, but it has just a few like kind of seasonal things that I'm just not going to use in the summer at all. Um, but this is all from the balm. This is from, let's see, Matrimony. And these are from the Balm Voyage Volume 2. This is a little sample of Hot Mama, I think, by the Balm. And then this is one of those Ulta singles in Fearless. So I, I truly don't use these very often but um, I just store these in the bathroom just in case something fancy comes up. I can't decide the best way to keep my nail stuff together, so I just keep shifting packaging. But anyway, I've got in here, it's a little bit of a mess. I've got a nail file that just has a bunch of different surfaces. This is for nail art, but I don't really use it, mostly on my daughter. And then this is just some non-acetone nail polish remover. With the acetone kind, it just makes my nails smell, and my fingers smell so bad. Okay, this is a like really interesting nail polish brand little on Dean and they are like odor free and don't have as many chemicals and stuff this is the shade cherry blossoms and it's the only nail polish I've ever used that my husband has complimented he said my nails were cute so keeping that and then this is little on Dean in lava and it is just this beautiful classic timeless red these actually peel off like on purpose so you don't even have to own nail polish remover if you don't want to but my nails peel pretty easily so um, like the actual fingernails themselves so I don't use these very often you're gonna laugh when you see these nail polishes because they kind of all look the same we have just a bunch of neutrals it's fine <laughs> Just neutral after neutral. So here is an OPI. This is my all-time favorite. Um, Stop it, I'm blushing. And it's kind of just a peachy nude. It's very flattering. This is the Julep Oxygen Nail Treatment in sheer pink. And um, uh, two coats of this make my nails look, look and feel really healthy. I have two by Orly. This is actually probably my ultimate favorite nail polish. It's called Kiss the Bride. Very, very beautiful blush pink. This is more peachy, this one is more pink. And then, this is the one I'm wearing right now. It's, I don't have the sticker, but it's called Bizarrely Beautiful. It's got a little bit of a, like, green cast to it, duochrome. Then I've got two Essence polishes here. This one is in Dare, oh, Dare It Nude, and this is Sweet as Candy. Um, I like both of these a lot. Then I've just got a bunch of cotton balls up here so that when I'm doing my nails, I can just have everything in one little kit. And it mashes down so I can zip it back up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed looking at my makeup collection and these just sit on my desk like this. I put this in a bathroom cabinet. Um, but hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.